to make a uh, comparison video, um, not a review, just a comparison video of uh, just explaining the key differences between the Kiesel Osiris and the Strandberg Bowden that I have. If you're just cho trying to choose between the two guitars and um, wondering what might be the best for you, this is the video to watch. Um, they're both obviously headless guitars, uh, roasted maple neck, carbon reinforced, uh, 24 stainless steel frets with lumen light side dots. Um, they both have swamp ash bodies and natural feeling finish. They call it different things um, at both companies, but yeah, they're smooth, uh, natural feeling finishes. And um, they both have tremolos. I won't go into the differences of fretboard like Ebony versus Roasted Bird's Eye Maple, which I have on the Osiris because, you know, the stainless steel frets. Um, you don't really touch the fingerboard that much, um, so I think it's mostly just the aesthetic that will be different. Obviously the uh, Bowden is a multi-scale guitar, from, uh, the low E is 25.5 inches and the high E is 25.5 and I think it, uh, 25 inches, and it goes up in uh, or goes down 0.1 inch intervals, um, and the Osiris is just a 25.5-inch uh, scale guitar. The key difference uh, between the multi-scale and the single scale is um, the ease of playing on the higher strings. Like I usually play 25.5-inch scale guitars, and uh, having that 25-inch scale and close to it on the higher strings, it does help it help the feel, um, and it does feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, and, and since the fan is very mild, you don't really feel uh, like awkwardness when you start playing the Bowden. One of the problems I had was uh, because of the fan, because the fan gets more extreme on the higher frets, uh, you do sort of tend to make errors visually, like you tr when you see the fret, um, it's not the fret that you want. Uh, but that wasn't really a uh, lasting issue, it got over it pretty quickly. And then another is because the guitar, the Bowden, it feels like a 25.5 inch scale guitar. I, I ended up over bending on uh, the higher notes. The E string was okay, but then the in-between strings, like the G string, the B string, when I was bending on those strings, I did tend to over bend a little bit. Um, and that's something I'm still uh, trying to overcome, but um, yeah, it does feel a little different when you're bending. For the Osiris, it's, uh, what is it? They say 1.67 inches. Um, which is like 42.4 millimeters and the Bowden is 35 millimeters at the nut. So uh, the Osiris is like, it feels like a Fender. Uh, it's basically the Fender nut width, um, but then the Bowden is closer to a Sur. The neck is a little narrower. So um, not a huge difference feel wise, but still a like small adjustment to be made when you're playing. But I don't really have a preference for either. Uh, Kiesel, I have the standard neck shape on my Osiris, which is pretty much the same as the uh, Fender American Standard Strat I used to have. Feels pretty much the same. It's like a nice, it's not thin, it's not thick, it's like a kind of medium kind of C shape. And obviously, Endura Neck, um, if you're looking at this video, you've probably seen a lot of reviews about it anyway, so I won't say much about it, but it didn't really take time for me to adjust, it was very natural, um, and it, it is for sure a lot easier to, f to hold when you're playing, say, uh, chords on higher frets and whatnot, so that's just something to, uh, something to consider. The, the Osiris has a solid body, uh, which, you know, it's just like a plank of Swamp Ash, pretty much. Um, and the Strandberg Bowden has a chambered Swamp Ash body a maple top and a Australian blackwood veneer, which is what um, Pliny wanted on his signature, which I have. Um, the difference in weight is only like maybe 500 grams. Like the the Kiesel Osiris I've weighted on my little scale I have uh, comes up to 2.9 kilograms versus the Bowden, which is 2.4 kilograms. But it's it, it it feels totally different. The Osiris you could say is just a light guitar. Um, but the Bowden uh, doesn't really feel like a guitar in terms of weight. One thing I, I noticed when I'm playing uh, the Osiris among other guitars is uh, the body, so the guitar, so if you're sitting in 
the standard position and you're trying to play, the body tends to lean back. So the neck will come up and the body will lean back. Maybe it's just my chair. But um, so I tend to look for some kind of like stool or something I can rest my right foot on so I can sort of up my knee and it comes towards my body more. But the Bowden, I feel it doesn't have this. So the Osiris, you know, cause it's not as heavy. It doesn't lean back as much as say my PRS. But um, the Bowden for sure, it because of the lightness of the body, um, it's a lot more comfortable to play just in various positions. The Bowden is totally different in terms of the way it sounds when you just play it acoustically. Um, and I don't think it's either you know good or bad necessarily, both. Um, it's just different. The Bowden is actually the first guitar I played in a long time that actually has like a flat top. Um, most of the guitars um, well, the guitars I have now and have played so far usually had a top that would e that was either beveled, like the top of the guitar was beveled, or the edges were pretty round. Um, but the Bowden's actually the first guitar I played in a really long time that's just flat on the top, so the edges of the guitar took some time getting used to, and a lot of people actually talk about how the forearm contour is not as deep as you would want it. And, I mean, I have no problem with that, but it's just something that was um, needed getting used to. Also, uh, the way the Bowden is cut out on the bottom side, it allows you to play it sort of sitting uh, up like this. And um, I don't really play or, or I don't really track in that position, but it does help if you're just trying to write or noodling, just uh, casual playing. Um, and it is very comfortable to play in that position for sure. Obviously, the Osiris um, Kiesel loves um, to put bevels on their guitars, and the bevels are fantastic actually, they're really comfortable to play. Um, the way the bevel is shaped, um, it's really good for the forearms um, and just in general, it's a very comfortable body position. Uh, you can put it any way you like and it's really easy to play. The, the Kiesel Osiris uses hip shot hardware and the Stramberg, they have their uh, proprietary EGS 5, I think it was. The key difference is it's aluminum uh, for the EGS and it's steel for the hip shot, so it results in different tone. But pretty much um, they do the same things, like they have locking nuts where you, you know, you cut the string and you lock the string at the nut. And then uh, for the Kiesel, you have like this little O-shaped um, insert uh, near the bridge where you put the ball string, uh, ball the string in and it holds it there and you can tune it. And while the Stramberg, you feed the string through the tuner and it goes to the ribs. But it's not a big difference. I think they're both, well, they both hold tune very well. Um, I would say ease of adjustment goes to the hip shot stuff because um, the Bowden you do have to fiddle a lot with um, each bridge separately just because it's multi-skill and whatnot um, and also the way the strings are set up on the bridge like the height of the strings you if you want to adjust those it takes quite a bit of adjustment or time but I don't think it's like major um, just takes a little bit more time a little bit more energy um, but ease of use, I think it goes to the hip shot for sure. Uh, the Kiesel gig bag is, it's great. Um, I think it's very similar in build quality and uh, ruggedness as, um, as like a Sur gig bag or something you can get for like a hundred dollars USD. Um, the, it's not like super heavy duty, like mono. Um, and I haven't tested if it's waterproof or not, but it, it feels safe and, and I would um, definitely fly with it, especially because the you know, guitar doesn't have a headstock so it doesn't really, um, doesn't really fall into as much danger as one with. Um, and I, I've, fl I've flown with it, I've checked it in, um, I've carried it on, both no problems. Um, the Strandberg gig bag is not as heavy duty, like it feels more like a sleeve. It's more of a gig bag kind of thing. but. Um, it's less protective, it's lighter. Um, it looks nice. I'm not sure if it's waterproof, I haven't checked. But, um, and like I've seen people like complain about uh, the gig bag just because you're buying such an expensive instrument, but you're not getting a gig bag that's of that caliber. But I, I, I do sort of understand the way, uh, or this is my inference, but um, because Scramber goes for the ergonomics, the uh, the lightness, they emphasize a lot uh, the lightness, right? So um, I would think that they want their gig bag to be light and if you have a heavy, heavy gig bag, it sort of defeats the point of having a light guitar if you have to carry it around. So 
So at the time when I ordered the Kiesel, um, I think it was like the base price was like 1.1 K US. Right now it's like, I think it's a couple hundred dollars more, but yeah. But so at the time when I purchased it, if I include the pickups, which I got afterwards, um, I think it'd come around roughly to like 1800 US. Um, and the Stramberg would, is 2500 US. Um, so obviously the Osiris is a lot cheaper, um, but just for the sake of exercise, I went to the Kiesel website and I tried building um, a, an Osiris that would be similar in spec to the Roden Prague bolt-on. And it came out to like t almost 2300 anyway. So it, it's pretty close. Um, I think you get, um, they're in the same kind of price range. I would say that Kiesel does provide better tops, like aesthetics and whatnot, than a standard kind of uh, boating you would get. Um, but I think it's uh, they're on the same uh, level in terms of just playability and quality, which is saying something uh, because um, you know Strandbergs are built in Indonesia right now and Kiesels are built in uh, the U.S. So um, yeah, I mean they're both uh, great quality guitars. Um, I did. I do see, you know, complaints in uh, both the forums about the quality control and whatnot sometimes, but I think each company does their best to sort of correct any kind of issues that the customers have, and I think that's that's fine. Um, that's totally fine. Obviously, they're both great guitars, like the quality control, playability, aesthetics, they're both beautiful guitars. Um, the Osiris feels a lot more traditional, like the, you know, for a headless guitar, that is. Uh, the body shape, the weight, uh, everything is very more guitar-like. Um, just something a lot more familiar for anyone who's not uh, never played a headless before um, but just you know a little bit more modern a little bit more futuristic forward thinking uh, the Bowden I think is just taking the guitar and turning it into an ergonomic tool um, because everything on like the design is intended to relieve weight um, and it's designed for comfort uh, like Kiesel you don't have, it, like the roasted maple neck is an option, but all the mod, uh, Bowden models have uh, roasted maple necks. So, uh, you know, obviously increases the stability of the neck and it does increase your playability just because of the way uh, the neck is finished. I think uh, if you want something that feels more familiar, go for the Kiesel. They have a lot more options in terms of, uh, you know, specs or things that you might want to put on and whatnot. The Bowden, you get what you get. So. There are no, not really many options you can do, uh, just s selecting different models more like. Yeah, but if you want to go for the ergonomic guitar, the one that you can sort of wear for hours and won't feel tired, um, and the one that you can sort of play in many positions, um, definitely go for the Bowden. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, please leave comments. Let me know if you'd like to hear a comparison of the uh, two guitars in terms of just the pickups and or if you want detailed reviews on any of the guitars. So, thanks.